he was a devout Catholic, and he read a lot of um, he read a lot about about God and and Jesus in the Missalette. The Catholics have a book yes. called the Missalette. Yes. Um, but my father had never read the Bible. Um, oh. But but he knew the Missalette from cover to cover, but not the Bible. Um, I see. And I don't believe that he felt very close to God, and he. He he had no assurances that he was going to be taken care of when he passed on, and he was scared because yeah. he didn't know where he was going. Yeah. Did you see or think that he was scared right up till the end um, of and at the time of his passing, or did he actually get some peace before he passed, do you think? No, I, I believe that he had no peace when he passed. That's why he... That's why his body um, held out for so yeah. long on, yeah. on nothing. Um, yeah. I was I was able to make physical contact with him in his hospital bed for the first time in a very long time, um, where I kissed his forehead and told him it was okay and told him that that his little boy would be just fine and that it was okay for him to go and to find his light and to be happy yeah. and. Yeah. He acknowledged that by making noises, but they, but he couldn't speak. Yeah. Um, but and he acknowledged that, and I know that he heard me. He yes. he 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 knew that I would be okay, um, but he wasn't ready. He just he he wasn't ready. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he he wanted things to be different different, but he did not make choices to to change the things that he was responsible to change. For yeah. him to to let that go, uh, so yeah. unfortunately he took it with him. Oh, uh, which is pretty sad, isn't it? Brad Renee wants to know: Have they read the book, or do they know about the book? Um, I I believe um, the majority of my family ha- have not. My um my yeah. oldest uh, my oldest uh, sister um, Meg um, she has. Um, she, she has, has read it. Um, the book was written, um, in a very general fashion. Um, and, and, and all the names in my book are fictional, uh, fictitious. Um, nobody is called out by name and because the purpose of the book was not to call anybody out. The purpose was to share my story, um, for, for those two goals. Um, so I know one of them has. The others, um, I don't know if they have or not. And if if they do in the future, um, what the reactions will be will just be something that, you know, I will face case by As case. As that time comes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. That's so, Brad, the book is called Man at 50, and it's available on Amazon right now? Yes, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Um, oh, yes. It's also- it's also available on Kindle and Kindle Unlimited for free if you have if you have Kindle Unlimited. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just going to put this in the um, chat box. If you're happy, I'm going to keep you right to the end of the show. Our next guest um, hasn't called in yet, so we will. Well, that, that's uh, fine. <laughs> I was that's hoping fine. you'd say that. Barnes and Noble, uh, free on kin on Kindle. The Kindle, un- if you have Kindle Unlimited, it Unlimited. is uh, available through Kindle Unlimited. And in December, it will be released as an audiobook as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a great book, uh, people. I've read three quarters of it um, <laughs> and have yet to get back to finishing it, but it's great. It's a really good read, well written, um, exploring lots of the things that are hard to talk about. Um, and uncomfortable to talk about, but definitely uh, things that we we need to hear about. Um, often with people, it's not until we reach our mid forties and into our fifties, and sometimes our sixties, when we start to uh, have. Uh, an idea about some of the dysfunction we might have experienced as children, and that's definitely your take on things, isn't it, Brad? Yeah, um, that exactly that leads me into you know probably my last point. Um, be- yes. Before we're done uh, here tonight, is 
um, through my experiences and, and through writing the book and through purging my mind, uh, it, it took four months to write it, which seems yes. like yeah, that yeah. seems pretty quick, but it was, it was from memories. So, um, it, the book has led me to a belief, a belief system that most people, um, can connect challenges and, and issues in their lives to their little selves, to their little person within them. Yeah. And there's a process that you have to go through. Um, you have to go through specific steps and stages um, yeah. to 